Hi, welcome to a very exciting episode based on Nikola Tesla. Born in a small town in Smidgen, Serbia, in 1856, an Orthodox priest father and an artistic inventive mother, as well as three sisters. One quarter of his inventions were released to society, the technology that money could be made from and controlled, that is, and about three quarters shelved or hidden mostly due to the need for dependence on the evil daughter, being maintained like the suppression of free household energy and the hidden secrets of nature. His inventions were definitely not shared in the way that Tesla would have wanted. He was a man of morals and a man of peace. With all great power comes responsibility, and Tesla was afraid of his inventions falling into the wrong hands. The same order of people who silenced Tesla back then are still pulling the strings today. Lucky for us, what did get through makes a huge impact on our lives. Small things and big things, like step-down transformers, which we don't you know, all know about, but they get the power to our house. Electric motors, your TV monitors, the internet, radio, you know, the simple remote control you use while you're on your couch to change a channel, things like that. Some things make a huge impact and other things make life easier. Uh, the things that make a huge impact would be the turbine generators that create electricity at hydro power plants, coal pipe plants, they all use steam uh, generators which is what one of the things that uh, Tesla invented you know, the, to make electricity from something spinning the turbines. And then the, the power goes to the step-down transformers, which is alternating current, uh, which allows us to extend the range uh, of electricity throughout society. Otherwise, the direct current, which we use in, for example, in cars, uh, we, we would need a power station every 500 meters if it was direct current. So luckily for us, Tesla came up with alternating current, which means there's a lot less pollution for as well. They have kept many types of inventions away from us, hidden. Things like anti-gravity, free, free energy where you could run your whole house and your car, wireless electricity, it would be as simple as tuning in your radio frequency and getting your electric motor to run your car. Electric motor which he also invented. Uh, to other things like communicating underwater which is very hard. Uh, even for submarines nowadays, and other things that you know are secret, so we would just have to guess. But through what Tesla has said, there, there's a lot of things. But those things would make a huge impact. It would release society as it is from the burdens of the new world order. Well, it was written up in a science journal back in those days that Tesla did have an idea for a UFO. Uh, that was anti-gravity propelled. It was also well known that Schauberger invented a UFO through the Nazis as well. So whether they came together and discussed it, 
it is not known, but Tesla, in, in his theories, did come up with a, a type of UFO. It's taught in science schools all around the world that Marconi is the inventor of radio. But the truth is, Nikola Tesla is the inventor of radio. The patent was given to Marconi. Upon Nikola's death, um, Marconi tried to sue the US Army for using his patent. Once Tesla died, they reverted the patent to Nikola Tesla, hence not needing to pay Marconi any money. But um, I do remember a story of a journalist going up to Tesla and asking him what he thought about the patent uh, being given to Marconi. And Tesla just laughed. At least eight to ten patents of, of Tesla he used to come up with the radio. So if you, if you design the shape of a car, it doesn't mean you invented a car, does it? One of Tesla's little curious inventions was the pneumatic oscillator. The pneumatic oscillator was a small device that would reciprocate back and forth using uh, compressed air. Now, one day he was just uh, curious, so he mounted it to the metal beams in his laboratory. Now, slowly he started tuning it, little bit by little bit, and then he started noticing small vibration. And the vibration started getting bigger and bigger and bigger to the point where the the laboratory was collapsing. So he got a big hammer and smashed it off just in time before everything collapsed on top of him. And he ran outside to see how it was, the building. And there was everyone else in the whole area was outside as well. As the quake uh, reverberated through the rock, a strata in the whole area so everyone's house was vibrating as well as his um, his lab but obviously you know being the epicenter so anyway I don't know whether he got in trouble for that but it was written up and he did talk about it later on in life one of those devices you know it could be turned into a, a weapon and I do assume that it is being used these days as a weapon but, you know, it could be a type of free energy device because it would continue to reciprocate and that could be uh, generated to make electricity, for example. But the way it works is it bounces waves through the core of the Earth, uh, which is his next, uh, his next load of inventions, which were to do with the Tesla coil at a Wycliffe. Tesla was treated very badly towards the end of his life. He died a pauper, but through some graciousness, he was given a room in a hotel up until the point of his death.